and do a summary of, of, of what we discussed uh, this week and last week. The major models of political systems and of states. So states, remember state, what a state is, can be what? Unitary, federal, or confederal. Know, the, know these definitions, right? <coughs> know what they mean. Now we examine both unitary states, France, and federal states, US and Germany. And UK is also a unitary state. Remember also that states can be very centralized or decentralized, which is not the same as federal, right? Centralized meaning more power is kept with the central government, decentralized in a unitary state is more power is delegated to the lower levels of government. We talked about the fact that, and we examined varieties of representative democracies. What is a representative democracy? Representative democracy. So the power of the people, which is democracy, right, the demos kratos, is represented, right? Is, is manifested through representation. People run them, people govern themselves through their representatives. That's what it means. So this is why, as we discussed in Locke, in a, well, let's, let's actually discuss it differently. In a <coughs> representative democracy, in a modern state, the people, or whatever the component units are, maybe people and, st and regions, right, in the federal system, they govern themselves, which means that they send representatives to create the rules, to make the rules that will govern their lives. This is the process of what? Election, right? When you choose who will then make the rules for your life, govern you, governing, which, which is what govern means. But this making rules and governing has two, two major components. Three, but two, two that we have focused on. One is the very process of making the rules, and which is the legislature. And there's the, there's the process of applying the rules, which is the executive. And we're going to study each of these branches in the next section more closely. But understand the logic. Now, <coughs> there's also the judiciary, which settles conflicts between uh, these rules or between these institutions. And also we will examine that later. But we have focused on these two institutions, right? <coughs> and political systems are different because the number, the powers and the relationship between these institutions here, within representative democracy, varies. And there are three major models that we have discussed. Presidential, semi-presidential, and parliamentary. And basically there's presidential and parliamentary, and in between is the semi-presidential. It's kind of a mix. So let us look at these uh, varieties and kind of list the things that characterize each of them. And we will again, just to remind you, next section we will actually look at specifically at the executive branch, specifically the legislative branch, and then at the judiciary to understand how they function. Right? But at this point, and your book has a whole chapter on that, but at this point, let's just review the types of political systems. So once again, the legislature, what does it do? It is meant to do three things. To represent the people. Here's what the different representatives, representing the different opinions from here, meet. Now understand that in every society, anywhere, two people, if they meet, right, that's already a group, they will have different opinions on different things, different beliefs, different uh, desires, different interests. When, if the two of us meet and want to, we, we, let's form a state, the two of us, we will have to agree on rules. Well, we won't agree. Because simply, honestly, we don't agree. Or maybe we agree on certain rules, but on others, what should we should buy, think of a family, what we should buy. So there needs to be some, a decision needs to be made, right? And instead, in a democracy, the rule we have found, with exceptions, is that what the majority decides, right? This is why in elections, the, the, popula the, 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 the country, the people, or the people and the individual units, let's say regions, they send their representatives representation through elections. And in order for these different types of interests to be, to be represented, right? And it is here in, these, in this institution that those different interests are negotiated. And there needs to be a majority of them that agree that, okay, let's go in this direction. And that's the process of lawmaking. So the first 
the root, uh, duty of a legislature is to represent, then to make laws, and then to make laws, right? Through the majority. Laws, however, need to be implemented, need to be made reality. There needs to be a whole set of institutions that every single day make sure that law, whichever law, is reality. Think of the fact that, you know, think of, uh, you know, street lights, traffic lights. Traffic lights need to be tr uh, need to function every day, every single day, right? Or let's think post office, the postal system. There is there are a number of people dressed in specific uniforms, which every day, day after day, do the same thing, and that's how the system works. That's what what an institution does. It creates this continuity. This is what shapes your life. This is why letters go from A to 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 B. The same applies to every law, to anything that works. Governance means that there is a set of institutions that make sure that certain things happen in a certain way. When you pass a law, that's a decision that your life will be shaped in a specific way day after day, and there needs to be a set of people who will make sure that that's so, who will make sure that that is true, who collect the taxes, who do this, who do that. Right? Every day, there's a set of offices where they, these people, that's what they do every single day. Unless you have a functioning set of institutions that cover the entire state and do that, there's no government. Government means that it's not just a bunch of people somewhere. Government is a set of institutions penetrating the entire state, from local to region to national, who every single, every single point of that state, they make sure that that thing happens. That's how a state is. That's what the modern state is. So government is not there. Government is everywhere. Right? That's the modern state that we discussed. Before. So this is this is the function of a legislature, and then uh, uh, the executive, right? The legislature represents and legislates. The executive is the body that then implements these things. It makes sure that these rules become reality. How this balance, what is the relationship between these, uh, these institutions? Who makes laws? Who has the initiative? That's what, what creates different systems, different political systems. They're all democratic, but in certain, we call them parliamentary, presidential, semi-presidential, and so on. We will continue this lecture uh, with the second section. <laughs>